What's your favorite TV show says about you? We recently hit 2.8 thousand subs on my 63rd birthday, and I'm hoping that we can hit 3k subs by the end of the year. Stranger Things, you think that the world building in this show is unmatched. Like, even if you never had the first-hand experience of living in the 1980s, this show makes you feel a sense of powerful nostalgia over an era that you weren't even born in. The world building is what makes the show incredibly immersive, and the lovable characters and consistent writing catapults this show over the other shows on your list. You know a show has perfect world building elements when you're desperate to find out what the hell is going on and for what reason and how based on the show's laws of possibility and environment. Game of Thrones. You feel like smashing your head into your keyboard every time a critic mentions the show's finale and final season. You're aware that most of those comments come from jealous fandoms who can't make peace with the fact that like 95% of the show is unquestionably peak fiction with high quality writing, character dynamics and a really solid roster of antagonists. You're also very likely a huge Lord of the Rings fan and and you love those super dramatic, supernatural elements when immersing yourself in a piece of fiction. This show is extremely binge worthy and you do anything to rewind time and rewatch this show for the first time. The Walking Dead. You're used to getting abused by fans from other TV fan bases. You tell someone you prefer The Walking Dead over Breaking Bad and a Breaking Bad fan will insist you weren't paying enough attention to Jesse Pinkman's character depth and arc. You're also tired of people shoving this show's IMDB ratings in your face when you're aware that not only is this show the most negatively reviewed bombed show of all time, Time, but that a big chunk of those review bombers are the Walking Dead fans. Like the season 6 finale is arguably one of the greatest episodes of the entire show, and over 20% of people gave it to one star, bringing down the average to a frail 7.1 rating. But once you push all the hate away for a moment, you're reminded that the Walking Dead produced one of the greatest protagonists in fiction, introduced not just one, not two, but multiple S-tier antagonists, ran for a whopping 11 seasons, released at least 3 to 5 masterfully crafted episodes per season, and some of the greatest side character development in television. The characters were so well written that you felt extremely attached to them, and unlike in other shows where you'd lose a cool character and sulk for a few minutes, losing characters in The Walking Dead often made you feel like a part of you was shattered. Oh and how can we forget, this show probably has one of the best pilot episodes of any show in TV history. Better Call Saul. You'd make the bold claim that the only reason Breaking Bad fans don't concede that this show is better is purely due to nostalgia, as you'd make the case that Better Call Saul has the Vince Gilligan vibe throughout, while providing a more refined feel. It's like someone tasked the creators of this show with perfecting the already near-perfect elements of Breaking Bad, in your opinion. You also think that the pacing was executed a lot better in this show, as Breaking Bad had some episodes which felt too fillery. Well, I've kind of hinted at this point numerous times already, but you guys are in denial that Breaking bad lives in your head rent free and you will continue to make comparisons till your last breath. Breaking Bad. You believe that Walter White is the greatest character in television and maybe even fiction. His extremely turbulent character arc completely transformed him from this timid high school teacher who lives an average life despite his extraordinary cognitive gifts and prior accomplishments to this drug dealing, blue meth making, fly hating kingpin. You think that the biggest drawback of Better Call Saul is the fact that Saul Goodman can't compare to Walter White as a protagonist in the slightest way.